Hello, my name is Oliver Carson, a developer advocate here at PubNub, and in this video, you'll learn how to set up and configure push notifications in your PubNub key set to be able to receive push notifications inside your Android application using PubNub. Let's go ahead and get started. To begin, you're going to need to first navigate to the admin portal located at admin.pubnub.com, and then go ahead and sign in. Go ahead then and select an application, or create one, and give it a name, and then select a key set, or create one if you haven't already done so, and go ahead and click on that key set. You'll be brought to the configuration page for this key set to be able to enable and configure any settings for those features. For now, we're going to be just focusing on the mobile push notifications feature, or otherwise known as PubNub's mobile push gateway. But if you're curious about any of the other features and what they do and the settings associated with these features, go ahead and check out our website at pubnub.com docs, or click on the video card to see a playlist of these features to be able to see what they do and any of the settings associated with them. To enable mobile push notifications to be received on your Android application, go ahead and click on the slider to enable mobile push notifications to be used in your application. The first two settings are webhook settings. These are not required for push functionality to necessarily work in your application, but they are necessary if you want to receive events on your server. And these events are just actions that have taken place based on a few different scenarios. In this case, whenever a push device is removed from a channel in the PubNub network, or if a push notification error has been detected. It will trigger these two HTTPS endpoints that you provide and will be caught on the server to do with what you will. The Apple push credential setting is required if you would like to receive push notifications on your iOS devices. For the sake of this video, we won't be covering this, but if you are curious, you're more than welcome to check out our documentation located at pubnub.com talks, and then looking at the push messages section and then clicking on OS. The Firebase Cloud Messaging section is where we're going to be entering in our FCM API key. This key is required for PubNub to be able to communicate with FCM or Firebase Cloud Messaging, which is the push service provider that will send push notifications to our Android devices. To obtain this FCM API key, you're going to need to create a Firebase project, associate your Android application with that project, and then obtain the FCM, FCM API key by enabling the legacy cloud messaging API inside your Firebase console. To begin, you're going to need to create your Firebase project. You can do so by navigating to the Firebase console located at console.firebase.google.com. You're going to be using Google's Firebase Cloud Messaging, or FCM short, as the service provider to deliver push notifications to your Android application. You will set up and configure a Firebase project that will be directly associated with your application. Press the Create a Project button and enter in the name of your project, or click on Add Project if you already have projects already made. Enter in the name of your project, such as PubNub Push Notifications, and Firebase will automatically lowercase and replace spaces with hyphens in the name of your project. Go ahead and click Continue. And for this tutorial, disable Google Analytics as we won't need it. Go ahead and click on the Create Project button, and after a few seconds, it will create the project. Once the project is ready, go ahead and click on the Continue button, and we'll be brought to the Project Overview page for this new project. Once we've created the Firebase project, we need to actually add our Android application to the Firebase project, otherwise FCM won't know where to send the push notifications to. To do this, go ahead and get started by clicking on the Android icon, below the Get Started by Adding Firebase to your app page. And you need to register your application by providing the Android package name. You can find this information if you go inside your application, inside Android Studios, navigate to the build.gradle file, the application level one, and navigate to the Android block, default config, and the application ID. So in this case, it is com.example.jetnews. Let's go ahead and copy that value and paste it inside the Android package name field and you can leave the nickname and the signing certificate alone. Go ahead and click on Register App. And next, it will have us download the Google services.json file. So this file is actually the bridge between your FCM project and your Android application. Without this file, FCM wouldn't know where to actually send your push notifications to, as well as if you're trying to send out a message on the PubNub network, PubNub won't know how to interact with FCM because this file does not exist there. So go ahead and download the Google services.json file. 
We'll be placing this in the application module root directory or the app level folder, but we'll be doing that shortly. So for now, go ahead and just download it and click next. So the next step asks us to add the Firebase SDK. So we won't actually be doing this step as we'll be using the PubNub SDK and a different Firebase library. So for now, go ahead and click next. And we'll be sure to detail these dependencies once we get to the project level build.gradle file, as well as the app level build.gradle file. And then go ahead and click on continue to console. And your Android application has been registered with the Firebase project itself. So the next step is to actually connect PubNub to FCM itself. To do this, you're going to need to obtain a server ID token value. So PubNub interacts with FCM by using the legacy cloud messaging API. So there are two different types of major versions right now. There is the newer FCM HTTP v1 API, which has better security and more feature customizations than the legacy cloud messaging API. However, PubNub still uses the legacy cloud messaging API. But no need to worry, in a PubNub application, all push notifications are sent through PubNub messages. And each PubNub message is highly secured with TLS and AES-256 encryption, and it supports compliance for things like HIPAA, GDPR, SOC 2 Type 2, and CCPA. So you're not going to have to worry about your push notifications being intercepted or being insecure. So to be able to find the server key token necessary to have PubNub send push payloads to FCM, you're going to need to go back to your project overview page, click on the gear icon, and then click on project settings. Go ahead and click on the Cloud Messaging tab. And you'll notice that the Cloud Messaging API legacy is disabled. So we're going to want to enable this by clicking on the three dots. Click on Manage API in Google Cloud, in Google Cloud Console. And then go ahead and click on Enable for Cloud Messaging. Once you've enabled it, go ahead and close the tab. And then refresh the Project Settings page. You'll notice now that the Cloud Messaging API, the legacy one, is enabled, and it has automatically generated for you a server key as well as its token value. And this is the value that we are looking for. And then go ahead and copy this server key token value and paste it inside the FCM API key field. That's all that's required to connect PubNub to FCM. However, you still need to do some setup inside your Android application, such as adding in the Firebase and PubNub SDK libraries inside of your build.gradle files, both the project level and app level build.gradle files, as well as registering your device and a PubNub channel on the PubNub network, as we had discussed earlier in the video. If you're curious on how this process works, you're more than welcome to follow our step-by-step -step tutorial located at pubnub.com tutorials, and then clicking on the push notifications tutorial. There will also be links in the description below, so you're more than welcome to follow those as well. Finally, the Microsoft push notification setting is a setting that is deprecated and was used to be able to send push notifications to Microsoft devices. As we had mentioned, the setting is deprecated, so please do not use this setting and will be removed shortly in the future. So if you don't see it, great, you can just ignore it. Click on Save Changes. And that's it. You've successfully connected PubNub to FCM by obtaining the FCM API key, and you're now ready to begin implementing push notifications inside your Android application using PubNub. As we have mentioned earlier, if you wish to follow a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on how to do this to an actual chat application built using PubNub, you're more than welcome to click on the link in the description below or navigating to pubnub.com tutorials and then clicking on the push notifications tutorial section. You're also more than welcome to visit our documentation page, which details how to set up push notifications for both Android and iOS devices located at pubnub.com slash docs. All of these links will be in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.